it's electric. It's unpredictable. And it's a whole lot of pressure. The Ryder Cup. In this week's golf tip, I will discuss what is needed for us to perform our best when the heat is on. So one of the greatest golf events on the planet is back in action beginning this Friday. Certainly hope you have a chance to sit down and watch some of the Ryder Cup this weekend. It's going to be exciting and thrilling as it always is. You know, when we think about the Ryder Cup and we listen to what players have to say about their experiences in the Ryder Cup, there's a couple things that come to mind. Number one is that this is the greatest golf event that they've ever played in. Number two, it goes along with it, is that it's the greatest amount of pressure that they've ever felt on the golf course. So that's kind of where we're heading today is what can we do to help ourselves perform when we're in situations that create nerves that create pressure well one word comes to mind and that's preparation you know for us to play our best golf and really for us to perform in those scenarios is that we have to be prepared for it we can't expect ourselves to perform well if we've never been through it or if we don't practice it okay so when it comes to coming down the stretch and we're about to have or we're close to having one of our best rounds of our life or if we're playing in the club championship and we're feeling the nerves, but we've never been in that situation or we've never practiced feeling really that situation before, we really can't expect much. Uh, we don't really know what to do. So when it comes to pressure and the nerves, try to simulate it the best you can when you practice. You're gonna feel a lot better when you get out on that golf course. So I've got one drill for you, and that has to do with the short game. Um, that's gonna help you to uh, put some pressure on yourself when you're practicing to help you feel the nerves. It's called the two-minute drill. I want you to take two golf clubs, I want you to take two golf balls, and I want you to put them in two different spots around the green. Your goal is to get both of those, up, both of those golf balls up and down in two minutes or less. So it's going to put a little pressure on yourself, which is good. You know, typically when, when we come down the stretch, we're feeling some nerves. There's a couple things that happen. We start to overanalyze things, we think about it too much, and we start to slow down. So that's why we're putting the time limit on it for you, so you can kind of just become more reactionary and more instinctive when you're over the shot. Okay, so two golf clubs, two golf balls at two different lies, two up and downs in two minutes or less. Give that a shot, and I know you're going to feel some nerves. It's going to help you feel more comfortable when you're facing those situations out on the golf course.